it's the second episode up, I thought I'd do this one extra fast. And here we are. As for the theme, on my first video I spotted an interesting comment by Burns Die that some of you seem to be curious about. He says, as a kid, I always wondered what would happen if you made a tunnel through the earth and jumped into it. This concept might seem laughable at first, but actually there's some interesting physics involved here. Well, Burns Die, I understand why you mentioned the as a child part. If we consider the earth's interior, it is clear that it is not that simple to dig a tunnel through it. Once you are through the earth crust, you would reach its ductile mantle, which is quite hot, about 1000 degrees centigrade, and increasing as you go further down. In fact, so far we haven't even managed to dig deeper than 12 kilometers, or 40,000 feet, which is only about a third of the width of the earth's crust. Still, for argument's sake, let's imagine the earth was entirely solid and we were able to dig a tunnel right from the north to the south pole. Like this one. Now, what would happen if you jumped into it? What you have to remember here is gravitational force and how it works. As I mentioned in the last episode, gravity is a force that attracts objects that have mass towards each other. However, if you look at the shape of the Earth, you see that there is not only matter right below you, but there is also matter to your left and to your right. So why aren't we pulled to the side? Well, it's simple. The gravitational components to the left and the ones to the right pull in opposite directions and will therefore cancel each other out. All that remains are the components pulling you downwards. That's how it works. Hence, once you jump into the hole, you will fall down into the earth and towards its center, accelerating as you go. But what happens once you reach the center? As opposed to popular belief, you would not be crushed by gravity. In fact, it would be quite the opposite. Well, let's look at the different gravitational components again. Again, we have mass to the left as well as mass to the right. So the components will cancel out. Uh, furthermore, we also have equal amounts of mass below and above. So these components cancel as well. As a result, once you reach the center of the Earth, you are completely weightless, as if you were in outer space. There are no forces pulling you in any direction. However, since you've just been falling for about 4,000 miles, you'd be traveling at a tremendous velocity, and you'd be shooting right through the center and back towards the surface of the Earth. After you pass the center, however, there will be more matter behind you than ahead of you. Hence, gravity will act against your motion and you will decelerate, i.e. slow down. In an ideal scenario, the point where your velocity reaches zero is exactly the same height at which you jumped in, but at the opposite side of the Earth. Now, unless you grab hold of something, once you get there, the same process will repeat itself over and over again. Hence, when you jump into a tunnel through the earth, and if there was nothing to stop you, you will oscillate back and forth along the tunnel for all eternity. This is known as simple harmonic motion. Well, actually this scenario is oversimplified, since we have not taken into account the effects of air resistance. In reality, if there is air in that tunnel, you will continuously be slowed down when falling through it in either direction, until you eventually come to a complete hold, and then you're stuck. I'd say this would be a rather unpleasant situation, since now you'd have to climb a distance equal to approximately the width of Europe. In conclusion, if you ever see a hole labeled tunnel through the center of the Earth, don't jump into it. So, Burns Die, I hope this satisfies your childhood curiosity. And this is also the end of this episode of Ask a Physicist. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, now, as always, please do feel free to post a question yourself and let me know what you think. Uh, 
see you next time.